How about this? Yusuf Nurkic in our studio, bearing gifts. That's one way to get on Sports Center. Now, I, I did a little homework here. If I say, Yuka, stamai, what do I say? Oh, no. Come on, <laughs> does that mean Yuka, what's up? Yuka, stama. Stama. You got it, homie. Mr. Bayama. Hey, uh, Irina, you get hit in the head a lot. Why? People try to get in my head. But, you know, it's close. The people don't get it. It's really close. It's closed. Yeah. So they're not getting in your head by hitting you in the head. Yeah, they're trying. Okay. okay. I know you've got. A, I know you've got a, a, your own ping pong table at home, right? Yeah, but I'm not using a lot. You know, well, you're, well, we're going to find out how much you're not using it. All right. <laughs> yeah. One zero for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever seen the movie Forrest Gump? No. Nope. Uh, well, because I'm the stunt double in it. Ah. Oh. I that's my point, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I, I'm, reading about, I'm reading about your crib in Portland. 10,000 square feet. Okay. And you got five fireplaces. Why do you need five fireplaces? I like the fire. You like the fire? Now, if, the, now if, this, if this interview goes well enough, because it's 10,000 square feet, I come to Portland a lot. Can I, can I hang at your place? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a definite no. Hey, uh, do you, you, have, can, you can visit me. So I can visit you? You can, you can probably stay, but you can visit me. OK, all right. Some coffee, great coffee. Do you have your own cappuccino maker? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah? How many cups of coffee have you had today? Just today or usually? Just today. How many have you had Eight, today? Four. Four? Yeah. How many will you have, how many will you have in, a, in a typical day? How many cups of coffee? Typical day? Depends if I'm playing the game or not. <laughs> Oh, I'm caffeinated, right <laughs> I'm caffeinated right <laughs> now. I'm caffeinated. Uh, but usually, I'm f four to six. Four to six? Is that what gets you going, like, yeah. before a game? But summertime is crazy. Summertime is, like, 10 to 12. You know, I just love the coffee, man. It's a lot of coffee. Hey, what, 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 is, what is NERC fever? How do you define that? You're the guy. You don't know that. <laughs> The nerf fever, man. It's uh, just... What is it? Because it's, cause it's sweeping Portland, I know that. <laughs> it, you know, people love it because uh, the energy and, uh, and uh, you know, they get getting pretty bad fever, so right? sometimes oh. it's just too dangerous. Can get... Uh, nerf fever, big in Portland, not so big in Oklahoma City. OKC? Yeah. They just have a tornado, man. Yeah. Um, what is, what, what is your basketball accomplishment that you're the most proud of? Overall, or just an NBA? This, what, you, it's your answer. <laughs> I mean, you got questions, so I make <laughs> sure I understand that. But, uh, you know, I feel the way, the way I came in Portland and um, it was out of, the por out of the playoffs for like 11 games, I think. Right. I think we came up after the All-Star break and make it the playoffs. You know, right now it's time to get, you know, a little more done, more work done. Uh, how did Damian Lillard change your life? In many ways. I mean, um, off the, on the floor, definitely with the, his leadership and, and um, the way he helped me to see different, you know, different approach of basketball. Right. And off the floor, just be out there and, you know, whatever I need him, I call him, you know, three in the morning, you know, in summer, doesn't matter. He's always there for me. So it's mean a lot to me for sure. Have you ever met Bill Walton? No. You haven't? I haven't yet. Because he'll change your life. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> um, Kobe Bryant. Tell me about your experience with Kobe Bryant when, you, when that first time you saw him. Because he was your favorite player. That's my player. fever, man. That's my fever. Right? What is it? What is it about Kobe Bryant? It was my idol, man. You just growing up back home, you know, coming from the small village in Bosnia and, you know, starting, you know, pretty late in basketball, 14 years yeah. old. And, um... Just seeing him, you know, that the instinct he has for the basketball and uh, to be the best, you know, ever it can be, uh, it was tremendous. And, and what was it like when you were on the court with him the first time? He was crazy, man. <laughs> it was really crazy. That, you know, I was in a, I, my debut was against the Lakers in, uh, in um, San Diego. Right. And, uh, and I was, you know, hitting to the, off the locker room in, in a hallway. So I crossed the, the door and I saw him, I was like, I think it was the, uh, Mozga was behind me, I was like, did this Kobe? Like, <laughs> and he was like, yeah, just, don't worry about it. So the game started and, um, and I was on the bench and I'm just looking at him, ain't no looking place and 
the coach called me and I'm, you know, I supposed to go this direction, I'm going this direction. All right. So it's called, nah, nah, this way. This way. <laughs> so I go in the game and the first thing I was looking just like, how I get guard him? Like, you know, how I end up to guard him? All right. The first pick and roll was like, you know, switch. <laughs> then whatever happened. So it was, it was tremendous experience. You know, after the game was like, man, did, do I really play the game? Like, and the crazy story about it was like, you know, we have a player section in a plane and uh, there's coaching staff and then media. So I basically, I couldn't cry in a, in a player section because I, I'm not that type of person. So I was like, walk all the way down to the, to the end of the plane and sit down in the last seat in, in a plane. And I was like, nah, I didn't play, man. That's, it was a dream. Then it was like really dream came true, like for me to see him, to be able, came in the league and, and he was still playing and um, to just share some moments is great, man. It was, it was definitely a great moment. That's a great story. That's what's good about sports is, sure. when, is when, we get a, when we get to be a kid again yeah. when we're growing up. All right, that's enough. That's enough of table tennis. We got to, we got to, now, I understand you did a lot, of, uh, a lot of boxing to lose weight to get ready cardio-wise for this coming season. Is that right? Yes. Okay, well, have you ever played, uh, you're familiar with Rock'em Sock'em Robots? No. Nah. Okay. Well, I understand you. You said you've never been scared of anything in your life. Okay. Are you feeling a little fear right now about what's going to happen to you? Nah, man. Huh? Huh? Because I'm going to knock your head off. So. Huh? Oh, yes! So yeah, there's a man down! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, kind, what, kind of, what kind of trash are you talking out on the court? Or are people talking trash to you and you're just responding? I feel it's a, it's a second way. You know, I'm trying responding, but you know, sometimes it's, you know you need to start, especially if your team not going well, and uh, trying to bring the energy up and then, uh, and then play with the edge. You know, I think the most part for our season is success and win the games. When you play with the edge, we are a pretty good team. Uh, who talks the most out there? Who talk the most? Yeah, I think I know. Trash the or just talk? I think I know the answer. I think any kind of talk. <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> you? Yeah. All right. What about the what about the zero for Oklahoma City? Oh, just the. In the, in the league? Yeah. Or in the team? Yeah. Or in the league? Man, it's tough. Um, KG probably was in, when he was in the league, that's right. probably the, the, the hardest part to listen. Um, what about right now? Who right talks now? the most right now opponents? Uh, you said Westbrook, but um, there are some guys really out there really talking. Um, All right. How about Kobe Bryant? Did you pick? Did you learn any trash talking watching so Kobe funny, Bryant? Funny your story idol was like he shooting the free throws and uh, Kobe. Yeah. And uh, I'm out there like nobody even can touch him. Like how that possible? Like he just all whole night he was in free throws, and he actually says a word in my language, and and I was like I, I didn't hear right, man. He he can't speak my language, right? Right. So we go back back and forward, and uh, and he go again in free throws, and he repeat that. He was cursed war, but he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm pretty sure he said that. And, right. and then, then I was, you know, after, you know, a couple of years in the league and he was like preparing himself, you know, when he play against some teams, he will try to learn a little bit about every player he plays. So that was, you know, I think crazy story for me was like, he actually said something in my language and I was like, it's hey, just me, man. You know, my, my, my family of people yeah. here, so. All right, when we get done with the interview, you can tell me exactly what that word translated will, means, because otherwise we'll be... Oh. <laughs> uh, who gave you the nickname Bosnian Beast? I think the, my rookie year was like, the people tried to call me the Bosnian Bear and Bosnian Beast. And right. Uh, Which one do you like better, Bear or Beast? You see, what would come in, <laughs> <laughs> in the years to survive, so uh, I think the Bosnian Beast is a little bit more uh, right. affecting from, uh, from back home and here. And, uh, I think it was just more, uh, you know, you play against Grizzlies, you don't want to be bears. So, right, you know, perfect. You want, to, <laughs> you want to eat the bears, so you're not going to try to be bears. So. Now, if you're the Bosnian beast, what the heck is your dad's nickname? Because his, your dad, if I'm right, is 7 feet, 400 pounds. That's tough, man. That's, that, <laughs> What's his nickname? Just sir? I mean, <laughs> he, he's big. He's, I mean, he's huge. I mean, he's, you know, 6, 10, whatever, for more than 450 pounds. So. Right. And, and poli he's a cop too, so in, in no trouble. I was the, probably the best kid in, in, in growing up. So in whatever you do, 
<laughs> you're getting paid for it, so. Is it urban legend or truth or somewhere in between that your dad went into, a, there was a bar fight that your dad, the policeman, was called to take care of and he beat up 14 guys? It was a little bit of everything, but it was true. It was true. You know, some, you know, some people right now try to make a little bit different, but that's how I started playing basketball. You know, the, the case come up in a newspaper and uh, my agent uh, from, uh, from Bosnia saw the, saw the newspaper and it was like, his dimensions, like how tall he is and the way, and it was like, if this guy has a son, it has to be you. So <laughs> it, it, was, it was like really ridiculous story for me. And um, he came and said, you're gonna be the best player in Bosnia. In that age, you know, and my father was like, "Kid, you go to school, man. This guy crazy," and we we didn't believe, man. You know, I'd be lying if I said I know I'm gonna be here, and uh, I didn't dream about anything, you know, until uh, I show up in uh, in uh, 2009, start playing basketball, 2014, 15 hours in in NBA, so it was really fast. Do you feel like you're living a dream? I do. Yeah. I definitely do. You know, um, I never have a imagination to be like in this position but you know I definitely enjoy every moment what's who's the coolest person you ever met who's not a basketball player uh, through your success as a basketball player there's a lot of people you can see and, and, and you know like, like who's somebody where you went like whoa that's Denzel Washington or what you know I think Kevin Hart has to be like, Kevin Hart yeah, that's hilarious. Hilarious. hilarious Kevin Hart you know even he's little he's really he's really <laughs> Hilarious. You sure. guys could do a show together. I mean, why not? I mean, in Bosnia, we can speak the same language. Uh, <laughs> favorite city outside of Portland's Los Angeles. Why? I mean, out in the traffic, it's a perfect city. Right. That's that's good weather. Some gray weather. You know, some good coffee too. And uh, it's all about the coffee, isn't it? And food and, and uh, you know everything, whatever you need, business-wise and, uh, and uh, living-wise, you have here. Okay, we, we started trying to, me trying to speak. How would I say, Rip City, baby, in Bosnian? Pretty much you said it. Rip City, baby! <laughs> Yusuf Nurkic. Trailblazers. Thanks, man. You're welcome, man. Ready to get knocked down again? Boom! You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knocked yours off. Look. <laughs>